Hello everybody, I'm off restriction now and allowed to do another video. Welcome back to Kickin' Styles with Bass. Wait. Take 412. Kickin' Bass with Styles. Today we're going to be learning how to tie knots and what fish you can catch with them. And, and the first knot we're going to do is the egg loop knot, aka the salmon egg loop knot. So you basically you just take your, ta your tag end, you put it through the eye of the hook, you pull a bunch of line out, you, t you loop it around s six to seven times. You grab the tag, you push it down, you take your tag in, and you put it back through the eye of the hook, and you pull it, and you pull your your end of your line, and there's your, your egg loop knot, aka salmon egg loop knot. What kind of fish can you catch with an egg loop knot? Salmon, trout, snakeheads, bass. They use these knots mostly for deep sea fishing for black sea bass. They use these knots for the big game fish. Like what? Tuna, king mackerel. Uh huh. And what else? bunch of braided line like braided together so it's like a, a mega braided line mega braid line yeah yeah like really strong a bunch of them just like like super mega or regular mega mega oh and still if you had a huge chunk of chicken on here you'll you'll know if what fish you catch because the chicken will still be on and and there will be bite marks on it so if you had like bite like a tuna it would be all squished all like really small piece because they'd squish it and tear a piece off but the tuna wouldn't just eat the whole piece of chicken off they won't why not they just grab it they just grab a piece of it like half the chicken and pull it off. Sharks will just grab it and sometimes they'll rip the entire thing off the hook, but mostly they'll grab the hook and they'll pull it. And if you're using a circle hook with this, they'll be hooked on, you got a fish. Cause if you put the piece of chicken close to the part where they grab, you're go I guarantee you'll catch a fish. And if you hook them right, you'll catch them. And on to our next knot. Our next knot is called the polymers knot. You take your line, you take your tag end, you stick it through the, no you don't, you take your line, you loop it up like this. You loop it up like this. You take it and you have it like that. Then you take it, you put it through the eye of the hook. Then you tie a regular overhand knot. Regular overhand knot and you hook it over the hook and you start popping it until the until your the this part of the line goes goes into the regular knot I hate 
this knot. I hate this knot. It's the hardest knot in the world. That seems like a really tough knot. It's a really tough knot and it is so hard to do. But if you were doing it on nor on braid line, it would be easier. And there it is. There's your polymers knot. And what's so good about a polymers knot? You can use it on double braided line and you can catch bonnet heads on it. They're basically a, they're part of the hammerhead species. They're a... How can you guarantee using a polymer knot will catch you a shark? Because it's the strongest knot for sharks and the best knot for 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 sharks on like when you're surf fishing you'll catch sharks on these because they're the they're strong knots for it and they're meant and they're built for it so this is how the the knot's supposed to, to look huh yep looks a little what's going on over that one side right there <laughs> that's a little piece i don't know what's that it's a little piece i don't know we just edit this out yeah huh yeah here it is the next knot we're going to do is the improved clinch knot you take your tag end of your line you put it through the eye of the hook you twist you put your middle finger and you pull it you twist it six to seven times You put it where your finger, you take your finger, your middle finger out. You take it, you put it back through there. You, and you, once you made a loop like that, you take your end of your line and you put it through there and then you pull it. Somehow. I hate this. Or you could just do the clinch knot. Now we want the improved one. You told right. us we'd, we'd have an improved one. Why would I want to do the old one if I can have the improved one? Because the improved one is the hard knot. If you pull the tag end up, it'll end up like this. And it can still, it's still a good knot. If you want your hook to move around and stuff, you can do that. And if you don't, you can do, you can pull the tag end down. Or you could just dig it. It's a very hard knot. All right, let's see that knot. Yeah. <laughs> That's the improved clinch knot. So, tell me about the improved clinch knot. You can hit a bunch of bass on it, a bunch of crappie. Uh, you can catch... Aren't they the, called crappies? No, they're called crappie. You sure? Yes, they. I am sure. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> what else can you catch? You can catch... Size 10 snail hooks if you want to catch mullet. Like snails? Like slow moving sloth snails? No, like snail hooks that are like circle hooks. Oh, you mean snell? Yeah, snail hooks. Well, you can be snail hooks too. You can just be snails with hooks on their backs. No, I can't. You can't catch anything with those. Want to bet? Um, I bet, I pet, I bet my entire wallet on it. Now I'm going to show you the styles knot. You take your hook. You take your hook. 
you put your line right there, you tie it over here, a plain old overhand knot, like that, but don't do it tight. Once you have it, you slide it all the way up like that. Then you tighten it. You take your tag end, you put it back through the eye of the hook. Then you tie a regular old overhand knot. And there's your styles knot. Okay. So what else can you catch with a styles knot? Bass, snakeheads, bass and snakeheads, crappie, and I mean crappie. Crappie. Okay. And. Tell me about some other knots that you have that you know about. The trilene knot, you can um, catch well. the trilene knot. Um, the uh, the uni knot. Do you know how to do any of those? No. Okay. They're expert knots. Ah, so what level are you right now in knot making? About high, but the but those. Those uni knot and trilene knots are for mega high. So like? You have to be really good at knots. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good are you on knots right now? About 4. <laughs> That's good we're doing a video showing people how to do knots then, right? Kind of. <laughs> Anything else you want to tell the people out there? Nope, I got nothing. video <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs>